Hi friends, in my previous videos, I have covered how to create SQL Server database and how to deploy to the Azure SQL. Also, few important parameters which are performance insights and Azure SQL Analytics enablement and stuff. In my current video, I'm going to show you how to create backups for Azure SQL databases. So it's very simple and straightforward. Let us just directly go to the SQL Server. I'm not going to the database. This is your database, but I'm going to the SQL Server. So all your databases are under the SQL Server. So I'm just going to the SQL Server. Click on the backups here. It's a straightforward option. Just click on the backups. So it is one of the key parameter for any Azure admin or, or even Azure DevOps or sometimes. And especially if you are a database administrator, this is a must option for you. You can see I have already configured few backups and it was taken. Uh, earliest PIT or restore point is maybe somewhere February 3rd, 2022 UTC. So what is PITR here? Point in time restore. So how does it work? There are two parameters which you have to remember. One is LTR, long term backup retention and the PITR point in time restore. LTR policy is actually uh, copied to the blob storage, whatever the backup it is taken, that is actually copied to the blob storage as a long term storage. So the copy is a, a background job that has no performance impact on the database workloads at all. So it will automatically happen. Uh, coming to the PITR, it has a full form suggest like PAT or point in time restore. So you have taken one particular backup. So at that point of time, whatever you have taken as a backup that can be restored. At that point of time, data can be restored uh, anytime when you have, when you are lost with your databases. So moving on, uh, let us just simply click on the retention policies. How do you set up, right? So select what is the database. All your databases will be shown here in this list. So select one of your database. So I'm selecting here Adventure Works and then click on the configure policies. So here you can see it is very straightforward. How many days would you like to PIT or backup to be kept? So I'm keeping seven days. You can even keep it uh, five days based on your type of requirement. That means my PIT or backup is going to be available for seven days. And how frequently you want to take a backup copy that you can select here, whether you have only two options, two all of us, or 24 hours so usually people prefer to go with the 24 hours and you have to be ready or to be prepared to lose that 24 hours data as a least case in case if some disaster occurs or if the data center is collapsed think about it like exceptional cases so in that cases you are ready to lose 24 hours data in case if your business says that i'm not ready for that i'm fine to go lose that uh, 12 hours uh, data then you can set it up 12 hours okay so this is exceptional cases i'm talking about it is not like you know it frequently happens so i'm just selecting 24 hours and uh, keep weekly backups or monthly ltr backups or yearly ltr backups so what is that you want to keep it long term retention you can either uh, select weekly okay i'm just say one week okay uh, that means you will have the retention period of the one week but there are uh, many requirements from the customers or from your business that you know my backup should be there even for one year to verify or 10 years also right so those type of things you can uh, configure here you can select here weekly monthly or yearly right so it, it, definitely there are plenty of requirements uh, people doesn't want to lose the backups for a least case uh, then they may go with months uh, and years but, but for time being I'm selecting weekly LTR backups so uh, just leave it all the other options yearly that's based on again your requirement or if you want to apply yes so as soon as you click on that it will process that let us just wait for a few minutes so after a few minutes the deployment is succeeded so just click on the backup policies so this is the backup policy what we have created so you can see uh, what you have configured, but the result will be under the database. Uh, just go back to the SQL Server, and you will be able to uh, you will be able to notice that backup copy every 24 hours 
here eventually so i have already created one that it is appearing but you have to wait 24 hours to see your another backup copy of the database okay so this is how it works and it is not a one time job it will keep on happening it's in the loop so once you configure the database backup you don't need to really worry but you just need to verify as a administrator database administrator or azure administrator whether backups are being taken uh, uh, timely if the requirement is business requirement is changing you have to again come back and change your parameters accordingly so those things you have to keep on changing and another extra mile if you want to go you can take this copy and try to restore and verify whether the, all the data be, uh, data is being uh, backed up properly or not because it should be in a in a state to restore at any point of time in the future when the disaster comes right so that is the reason it's good practice like every 3 months or 6 months at least once you just check that copy whether it is in the restorable condition or any other issues are occurring it's a just practice it's not mandatory so thanks for watching my videos